In the vast silence of the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope has just whispered something that could change everything. A discovery so ancient, so vivid, and so deeply unsettling that scientists are questioning not just when the universe began, but where. For decades, we believed we had a grip on our origins. We mapped out the Big Bang, traced the formation of the first stars, and slowly built a model of how the universe came to be. But Webb didn't come here to comfort us. It came to reveal the uncomfortable, the unexplainable, and the downright terrifying. And this time, it has shattered a foundational truth we've clung to for generations. You'll want to stay until the very end, because what Webb uncovered might not just rewrite our history, it could redefine what reality even means. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope began its campaign to peer further into space than ever before, picking up where the Hubble Space Telescope left off. While Hubble had amazed us with discoveries like GNZ-11, Webb went deeper, equipped with a 6.5-meter mirror and infrared precision capable of capturing ancient light stretched by the universe's relentless expansion. That's when it found it, MOMZ-14, a galaxy so distant it was formed when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. But it wasn't just the distance that shocked scientists. MOMZ-14 was blazing bright, small in size but bursting with newborn stars, as if the early universe was not creeping into existence but sprinting. And unlike every similar galaxy ever studied, MOMZ-14 had no detectable supermassive black hole, an absence so rare, so unnatural, that it forced astrophysicists to reevaluate everything we thought we knew about how galaxies evolve. Why was something this bright, this active, this rich in complexity? so early. As the Webb spectrograph analyzed the light coming from MOMZ-14, another bombshell emerged, its chemical signature. Rich in nitrogen, the kind of nitrogen typically found in ancient star clusters surrounding our own Milky Way. But how could this be? A galaxy this young in cosmic terms was supposed to be chemically primitive, composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, with only the faintest traces of heavier elements formed by early stars. Yet MOMS-14 told a different story. This galaxy had already seen multiple generations of stars live and die. It wasn't a child of the cosmos. It was a survivor of battles we didn't even know had been fought. That meant the process of galactic evolution, of stellar birth and death, had started far earlier than any current cosmological model predicted. And if one galaxy showed this anomaly, how many more were out there? Webb kept scanning, and the more it looked, the more anomalies it found. Galaxies like MOMZ-14 weren't rare. They were popping up everywhere. Small, red, dense galaxies, nicknamed Little Red Dots, appeared throughout Webb's surveys. These ancient galaxies were supposed to be uncommon, slowly forming stars, chemically simple. But what Webb was seeing was the opposite, rapid star formation, intricate chemical complexity, and behavior that broke the rules of our cosmic playbook. If this wasn't a fluke, it meant that the early universe was far more dynamic, far more structured, and far more alive. The models weren't just incomplete. They were collapsing under the weight of new evidence. And in the wake of that collapse, a radical question emerged. Have we misunderstood the very birth of the universe? In the chaos of rewritten physics and broken timelines, some scientists took a step back and dared to ask an even bolder question. What if the reason our models don't make sense is because we're looking from inside a black hole? It sounds outrageous, like science fiction on steroids, but the theory is gaining traction. Evidence shows that many galaxies rotate in a single direction, defying what a random, evenly distributed universe should look like. The alignment of galactic spins, the dense early galaxies, the universe's expansion, all could be explained if our entire cosmos was born not in a Big Bang, but from the core of a black hole in a parent universe. This would make our universe a kind of cosmic offspring, birthed not from nothing, but from the collapse of a previous realm. And if that's true, then every black hole out there could be a portal to another universe, a recursive loop of existence endlessly creating, endlessly evolving, and possibly endlessly aware. 
As researchers dug deeper into the data, a disturbing irregularity began to emerge. Time itself appeared to behave differently in the early universe. According to the Lambda CDM model, the universe expanded in a relatively smooth, predictable fashion. But Webb's measurements revealed that the ancient galaxies were not only forming faster, they were doing so under what appeared to be distorted temporal conditions. The light from these galaxies showed evidence of cosmic time compression, as if those regions had experienced evolution at accelerated rates. Some physicists are now entertaining the possibility that time isn't uniform, that in the fabric of the early cosmos, regions could have experienced localized surges of evolution, faster births, quicker deaths, and denser, richer outcomes than the rest of the universe. In simpler terms, some parts of the early universe might have lived lifetimes in moments, creating ancient structures that shouldn't exist, but clearly do. Webb may not just be showing us ancient galaxies, it may be pulling back the curtain on a broken clockwork beneath reality. Just when scientists thought the implications couldn't go deeper, Webb picked up spectral signatures that didn't match anything known, light imprints with no source. These were not from galaxies or stars, but from ghost-like shadows, subtle distortions in the cosmic background radiation imprinted with a signature so precise it resembled a deliberate pattern. Some believe these may be echoes from a universe that existed before ours, a concept known as conformal cyclic cosmology, proposed by Sir Roger Penrose. If true, these ghost signals could be proof that our universe is just the latest in an eternal series, each rising from the ashes of the last. And the most chilling part? These echoes were detected in the same regions where Webb discovered galaxies that formed impossibly fast. Could these galaxies be remnants, survivors from a time before time? If so, the story of our origin is not only older than we imagined, it might be endless. One of the most unsettling revelations came from AI-enhanced comparisons of deep field data. By layering Webb's earliest galaxy images, scientists noticed a disturbing pattern, a near-perfect bilateral symmetry in galactic distribution and shape. Imagine looking into a hall of cosmic mirrors, where galaxies on one side are eerily matched by counterparts on the other, billions of light years apart. It was as if the universe had folded in on itself, like a multidimensional origami. Some theorists have proposed that this may point to a higher order geometry of the cosmos, something we're not designed to perceive. If the universe is a projection of a deeper mathematical structure, a kind of simulated lattice, then these patterns are not just beautiful, they're intentional. Webb may not be discovering randomness, it may be uncovering design. As Webb continues to unveil deeper layers of the universe's infancy, a terrifying realization begins to crystallize. We were never the beginning. The idea of a singular event, the Big Bang, exploding from nothing, has long comforted us with its clarity. But the evidence Webb is now collecting points in another direction. The universe may have been seeded, not started. Galaxies like MOMZ-14 may be planted survivors, the result of cosmic engineering, the nitrogen anomaly, the ghost signatures, the mirror symmetries, they all hint at a preceding intelligence, something that understood star formation, chemical evolution, and spatial structure long before we ever asked the questions. And if these seeds were planted, then who or what planted them? And more importantly, are they watching the garden grow? So now, as the light of ancient galaxies reaches us across billions of years, a chilling truth begins to form. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just shattered scientific models, it has cracked the mirror through which we view our place in the cosmos. Our comfortable origin story, one of orderly expansion and predictable evolution, is dissolving under the weight of impossible galaxies, unnatural symmetry, and ghostly echoes from before time itself. The stars are not just burning, they are whispering. Whispering of other cycles, other architects, and other beginnings we've been too blind or too afraid to imagine. And maybe, just maybe, we were never supposed to find these answers. Maybe Webb saw something it wasn't meant to, a pattern too precise, a past too complex, a truth too profound for a species still grasping at the dark. But here we are, staring into that truth. 
The question is no longer where did we come from. The question now is, who set the stage for our arrival? And if you want to follow every frame, every anomaly, and every revelation that the James Webb Telescope unveils, subscribe now, turn on notifications, and join us as we venture deeper into a universe that may not have created us by accident, but by design, because our origins were never what we thought, and now they may never be the same again.